The low FPS in the game often result from a poor internet connection or a system configuration. However, certain Windows settings such as Hyper-V can also prevent your computer from delivering the best FPS in the game. So today in this video, I will be sharing three Windows settings that you can disable in order to boost the FPS in the gaming. So without any further delay, let's quickly get started. Number one, memory integrity and the virtual machine platform. Now, memory integrity is an important Windows feature that ensure your computer remain protected against malicious code and unsigned drivers. Whereas virtual machine platform, on another hand, provide core virtual platform machine services for Windows. Both are crucial for Windows security, which is why Microsoft enable them by default. However, there have been numerous reports suggesting that disabling these settings can result in better FPS in the gaming. Typically, you can achieve a 4 to 7% of performance boost in certain game with memory integrity and the virtual machine platform turned off. One Reddit user even demonstrated in a video that they achieved a 4.2% of FPS improvement in Cyberpunk 2077 and about a 6.3% boost in Shadow of the Tomb Raider by disabling the core isolation. Even Microsoft has also posted that disabling the memory integrity and the virtual machine platform can enhance the system performance. Alright, so in order to disable it, what you will have to do, right click on the Windows icon and click on settings. From the left hand menu option, you will have to click on privacy and security, click Windows security, click on device security and here you will find the core isolation option. You will have to click on core isolation details and then you will find the memory integrity. Just go ahead and toggle it off. Click on yes. Once disabled, now you also need to disable the virtual machine platform. For that, click on your Windows search. Type here turn. And in the suggestion, you will be getting turn Windows feature on or off. Click on it. And then you have to look here for virtual machine platform. And here it is. Once you get the virtual machine platform, probably it will be checked. You need to uncheck this option and click on OK and probably it will be applying the changes and it will ask you to restart the computer. All right, and now let's move with the number two setting that is the Hyper-V and Hyper-V is a virtualization technology that comes enabled on your computer, allowing you to run different operating system on a virtual machine. However, there have been a lot of complaints that Hyper-V can cause slowdown and performance issues on your Windows. This is especially true if you have an older computer with a limited RAM or even the low-end devices. So again, in order to disable the Hyper-V, you will have to click on your Windows search. Type here, turn Windows and click on turn Windows feature on or off. Look for the Hyper-V option. Probably it will be checked. You need to uncheck this Hyper-V and click on OK. And now let's finally move with the third setting that is the Nagle's algorithm. So if you are an online multiplayer gamer, you should consider disabling the Naglaze algorithm. This algorithm is an essential feature of your router. It controls the transmission of the data packet to manage network congestion. Instead of sending all the packet immediately, it combines smaller packet into the larger one before transmitting them. While this can reduce the network congestion, it may cause the latency issues in the real-time game where even slightly delay can impact your performance. Therefore, I recommend you to disable it. So what you will have to do, click on your Windows search, type CMD, right click on the command prompt, click run as admin, click on yes. And here you have to type a simple command that will be ipconfig and hit the enter key. Now here you have to look for your IP address. So be careful here, if you have multiple adapter like the Ethernet, virtual machine, the Wi-Fi, you may find the different adapter here. Now you have to look for the one through which you are connected right now, like I'm connected with the Ethernet. So I have to look here in the Ethernet, not in the Wi-Fi. All right, so once you get your IP address, what do you have to do next? Click on your Windows search, type here registry, click on registry editor from the suggestion, click on yes. Now here from the left in menu option, you have to look for the H key local machine, make a double click on it. Then you have to locate to the system, double click on system. Then look for current control set, make a double click on it. Then go to the services, again make a double click on it. And in the services, you have to look for the TCP IP. So scroll down until you find TCP IP. Here it is. Again, make a double click on it. And in the TCP IP, you have to look for the parameters. Again, make a double click on it. 
and in the parameters you will find interfaces so again we can double click on interfaces here and in the interfaces you will find different sub keys here you can see there are multiple sub keys so what you have to do here you need to check all the sub keys here with a value name dhcp ip address that contains your ip address that we checked in the command prompt all right so let's start with the first one there is no value here then we can start with the second one no dhcp ip address third one okay we have here dhcp ip address so we need to confirm the ip address here so we can bring up the command prompt again all right so this is not the one that we have so we can go with the next one next one dhcp ip address here it is all right so this is the one that contain our ip address all right this is our ip address and it also contain here so now this is the value you have to look for okay this is the sub key you have to look for so once you get it now what you will have to do under this location only this path only you have to make a right click here on the right hand side in the blank space hold up to new choose door 32 bit value and rename it as tcp ack frequency all right so make sure that you don't make any mistake once you create this value make a double click on it and change this value data from 0 to 1. Click on OK. Now we need to create another value here. So make a right click again, hover up to new, choose do or 32 bit value. And this one you have to name TCP, no delay. Again, make a double click on it and change its value data from 0 to 1. Click on OK. All right, so that's it. Now you can go ahead and restart your computer and check if you are getting the better FPS and experience the less in game lagging. If yes, then you are good to go. Please make sure that you also hit the like, subscribe for my channel. And I see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.